Hello, I'm Jennifer Homendy, and I'm a board member at the National Transportation Safety Board. Did you know that fire departments across the United States respond to about 170,000 vehicle fires every year? Most of these fires are in passenger cars. Firefighters and other emergency responders are used to dealing with fires in gasoline powered cars, but a fire involving a high voltage lithium ion battery in an electric car can be challenging. Hello, I'm Tom Barth. Over the last few years, I've investigated battery fires in electric cars. The NTSB published a report describing the investigations that I worked on and the safety risks battery fires in electric vehicles create for emergency responders. Let me give you a few highlights of the fires we investigated. In August of 2017, an electric car crashed into a house and burned in Lake Forest, California. Firefighters had trouble extinguishing the fire. They poured thousands of gallons of water onto the roof of the car. They didn't realize that they had to direct water onto the battery compartment under the car to cool the battery and stop the reaction causing the fire. This is called thermal runaway. Another challenge in Lake Forest was that the battery reignited while responders were winching the car onto the tow truck. New short circuits were created when the battery shifted, causing the fire to restart. The battery reignited once again at the tow yard. A crash in Mountain View, California created a risky situation, managing a high voltage battery fire on a busy freeway. It was a challenge for emergency responders to know when and how to safely move the car. And then five days after the crash, the car's battery reignited at the tow yard. Firefighters were called to extinguish the fire. Even after the fire was out, the battery retained energy and was at risk of reigniting again. The manufacturer's engineers tried, but failed to remove the energy that was left in the damaged battery. This is called stranded energy. In Fort Lauderdale, Florida, a high voltage lithium ion battery burst into flames after a car traveling well over 100 miles per hour crashed into a wall. While the wreckage was being removed from the crash scene, the battery separated from the car and reignited on the tow truck. At the tow yard, investigators confirmed the presence of high voltage and stranded energy in the damaged battery. A car fire in West Hollywood, California shows us that a crash is not the only event that can cause the high voltage battery in an electric vehicle to catch fire. Here, an internal battery failure led to the fire. Firefighters quickly put out the flames, but they called the automaker for advice on how to stop the car from smoking. Firefighters were told to apply water to cool the battery, but where to apply the water was not clear. Guidance specific to each electric vehicle model is vital for emergency responders, regardless of what causes a high voltage battery fire. These fires illustrate what we all know, that severe crashes or component failures create safety risks in any car, gas, electric, or hybrid. The NTSB identified two main safety issues in our report. First, while the emergency response guides from electric car manufacturers are adequate in some respects, they're lacking in others. For example, they contain almost no information about how to handle stranded energy. Second, federal safety standards don't address high speed, high severity crashes involving cars powered by lithium ion batteries. Thermal runaway, battery reignition and stranded energy are key safety risks in electric car fires. The NTSB's report details actions that the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration, automakers, and fire and tow associations must take to protect our emergency responders. You can find the report on our website at ntsb.gov.